Hello and welcome to this Thursday's edition of Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jitlail in Singapore. Now, first off, we head to Beijing, where the US and China will hold their annual strategic economic dialogue. This year's session, though, may be strained by a number of issues, not least the heightened tensions in the South China Sea and the recent furore over a blind activist. The hope is that business matters will be easier talking points. China is expected to focus on investment and trade, as well as financial market reform and stability. The U.S., meanwhile, will push on China's undervalued currency and quicker reform of its state-owned enterprises. Well, for more, Chen Liu from the Economist Intelligence Unit joins us live now from Beijing. Now, welcome to the show. Tell us, though, how easy will it be to talk trade at a time when so many political matters seem to be overshadowing these talks? I'm sorry, did you say trade? Yes, how easy will it be to talk trade between these two and, and the economy as well? That's a very good question. Uh, let me start by stating that among the two themes this year, um, economics and security, really is going to be a more challenging job for Clinton rather than for Geithner. Now, on the economic front, Geithner already put down several things that he's going to keep on pressing on RMB exchange rate, on the uh, financial sector reform, et cetera, et cetera. But really, there's not going to be any major through coming out of this. Um, but then uh, if you look further than that, uh, Clinton's job will be more interesting to watch. But a very interesting thing to, to, to be looking here is that on the trade disputes, we've seen that there have already been a number of trade disputes this year, solar panel, uh, rare earth, you name it. Uh, the most important thing for the two countries to remember is that the two need to negotiate and uh, talk sensibly. Trade war is not going to lead to any more job creations or faster economic growth. Right. So now, you mentioned these an open uh, trade market. spats between the two, certainly a heightening of them this year. Uh, though we have seen China making some concessions in strengthening its currency, the yuan, for instance. What more can be done? Well, uh, there's obviously uh, uh, so many more tools that the Chinese government can adopt. But uh, we have seen that the Chinese government has been uh, adopting this slow but progressive and steady uh, improvement over over the years. And we have seen that uh, the actual exchange rate have been appreciating for more than 13 percent after Obama come onto board. So China is doing something, but maybe not enough for, uh, for the American ec economics or, uh, or, or politicians. Now, we know the South China Sea has been another big sticking point. It's an area rich in natural resources. How might that topic be broached by the two sides? It's a very good question. Now, the most unavoidable topic this time would be uh, around the continued tension in the South China Sea. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. There's the, the, the fishing, there's the oil and gas, uh, the enormous economic benefits, really. But ultimately, it is in both uh, in all U.S., China, and the southern states' interest to find a peaceful solution to, right. to this. Now, Clinton stated that it's in U.S. Uh, interest to see the maintenance of peace and stability, while China very much values the peaceful rights. And given the importance of trade and investment for the southern state mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to China, they are also faced with a, balance, uh, a delicate balance, uh, balancing act. All right. We'll have to leave it there. Chen Lu there from the Economist Intelligence Unit in Beijing. Thank you.